Hello, in this video, I would like to show how to use StatCrunch to compute the mean of a data set. To begin, let's log in to my math lab. Click on your course, and once you're in the course, click on StatCrunch. For the purposes of this discussion assignment, you will click on data sets from your textbook. Then navigate to chapter two, and you will choose from one of the data sets listed in the discussion prompt. For this demonstration, I will look at the data set called text messages. When I click on the data set, the data set loads in StatCrunch. It is also possible to export this data into other formats such as Excel. But for this video, I will only focus on StatCrunch. In the first column, we have the number of text messages. To compute the mean, I'm going to go to Stat, Summary Stats, and then I'm going to click Columns because my data is presented in a column. The column that I'm interested in computing the mean for is Text Messages Sent. Now you have some other options in terms of where the answer will be put. I'm going to leave those blank for now, and I am certainly okay with StatCrunch computing the mean, as well as some of these other things like variance and standard deviation. I click on Compute, and I find that the mean is 54.52. Now that we have our answers, we want to be able to share this. So one option for doing that would be to go to Option, Print, and Print as a PDF. Another option would be to go in here and copy. So I'm going to highlight all of the answers. Then I'm going to copy. I'll head over to a Word document. I'll paste. And then I'm going to Save As. The other option that we have is to do a screenshot. So for me, I would hit Control Print Screen and then head over to a program like Paint. And now I can save this image and embed it in my discussion post. In our course in Brightspace, you would click on your module and scroll down to the discussion one. And to create your post, you would click on start a new thread, thing like hello from Utica. And I've just included a very brief introduction there for the purposes of demonstrating this. And then to insert an image, you would click on the little uh, picture of the photo, click on my computer, and then upload. So then you would navigate to where you have saved the image, click on the image, and then what happens here is that your image appears in your discussion post and you could resize it if you wanted to. The other option would be to attach the Word document or the PDF to your post. So to do that, you can add an attachment below the message box. Again, navigate to find the file and include the attachment. 